Les Petites Monchil. Monch, I don't know. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today is purely a haul video. Everything that I'm going to show you is some items that I picked up from one of my very favorite places to shop, Westbury Antique Mall in Bloomington, Indiana. And I got a lot of stuff here to show you today. Now, everything that I'm going to show you, with a few exceptions, will be available to purchase from this video. So you can send me an email. Down below is my email, thrifterjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com. If there's anything that you might be interested in, send me an email and I'll let you know if it's still available. All right, I'm gonna get the big thing out of the way so I can make room for, for everything else. But I got this really nice sewing basket. It's an oriental style. It's got this brass little um, handle at the top. It's nice green wicker. It's just really nicely made. It's nice quality piece. And I think it would be really neat in like either like a boho atmosphere or, you know, it, or just you can, you, can, you can use it as a sewing basket if you want to. But um, this is actually going to be for sale probably in one of my live sales that I'm doing for St. Patrick's Day. So this one will be coming up very soon. All right. What else did I get? I got a sifter. I got I got a lot of metal things and some tins. And you know, I really love the figurines and the planters and that kind of stuff. And I got a lot of that stuff too. But I'll show you this metal stuff first. But I got this sifter. I love the turquoise color on it right there. This one is made by Foley, F-O-L-E-Y. It's a nice aluminum sifter. Oh, there you go. It's a five cup sifter you can see the name kind of in there a little bit but really nice this is this color is just it's just perfect and this is very clean it can still be used these are really good sifters to be able to just if you if you need a sifter for your baking needs all right i got several tins this one is a little toffee tin it says take the home sweet home Bluebird Toffee. I've just sold, recently sold another Bluebird Toffee tin. This one has a really, almost like a Italian or a Grecian scene to it. A couple little scratches there on the top, but this is Harry Vincent Huntington, Worcestershire. That's a word I have a hard time saying. England. These, I think were only a couple dollars that I picked these tins up for. And then I got this one. This one's just fun and vintage and lovely. Look at the flowers on there. So these are, I think that these are in hibiscus flower. They're pink. They've got this beautiful vintage pink around the side and the pink in the flower blooms them, themselves. And on the inside, it's fancy. It's padded with lace. Oh, I don't know if somebody did this afterwards but this is really nice you can really give someone some sweet little chocolates in this nice tin um it is mrs stevens from chicago so well, this was a chocolate tin i'm not quite sure maybe the the little fancy part was already in there mrs stevens you do a good tin if that's the case all right and then i got this this is a Riley's toffee tin, and this one has beautiful Niagara Falls on it. You can see here it's Riley's toffee. These little toffee tins are just really cute little things because you can add them so nice to a display. They just add a little bit of something. I really like that one. And isn't that the Maid of the Mist? I think that's what that is, the boat down there that takes you underneath the falls. And then I got these three little ones. Now two of, no, actually they're a little bit different. I thought that they were the same. They're from the same company, but they are French. They are the Specialty de Petit, Les Petites Monchil. Monch, I don't know. It's a little toffee tin. This was $4 and actually this booth was 75% off. Now, I, I can't really get this open, but you can clean this up a little bit with some min wax. You can put a little bit of min wax on a paper towel and just slightly clean 
the graphic up a little bit on that. That looks like it's like a, well, there's a, fa oh, there's the, um, yeah, what is that building? That building, that, that building right here. Boop, boop. Well, I'll put it here. I can't think of it out of my mind, but you know, we'll have a history lesson now. History lesson and you'll find out what this, what that monument is. Well, there's no point in muddling it over and I'll put it right there. Next we have, this is the same company, but it's a different scene. I don't know what that scene is. It's a palace of some sort or a big gardens. I don't know, I thought they were really pretty. And then this one is also a specialty de Paris. This is Les Monfaux Parisons. It can't be anything fancy. I'm sorry, I know that um, Melissa's probably dying right now. Melissa, I'm sorry. Melissa speaks French. And you'll have to, you'll have to translate this for me, Melissa, because I don't quite know. But this is chocolate, uh, chocolatier. P. Haffel and Company. You know, I just kind of buy things because I think that they are nice. I love the green. I'm going to try to clean this tin up a little bit, but you see that green. I'm in love with this green color. I have a cabinet that I'm wanting to paint this color. I love the design all the way around. I just, I'm having a little bit of an appreciation for these tins again. Um, they're really nicely done. Very nice, ni more, a lot nicer than, you know, the, the ones that you can get you know, at the stores today. And then this one is a big Mrs. Stevens candy tin. Now, if you really love someone, you would send them the big candy tin. This one has um, a floral design on it as well. I love that the metalwork itself has crazing in it from the paint. I just like that look. This was three pounds of candy from Mrs. Stevens out of Chicago. Really nice big tin. This one opens up just fine and there's some tissue paper in there. I love the coloring on it. This is just a really nice tin. And then this, I got the, oh, oh wait, this tin. Here's a little one over here. This one is just so cute. This can, it says the container is made in England. And it, I think it's a little tea tin, probably. But look at the beautiful, now is that a hibiscus flower on there? But it's this beautiful blue and pinks and green. And this is a nice little hinged tin. It does, on the bottom, it says the container is made in jolly old England. I just thought it was really cute. And I like the graphic on it. So I got that tin too. I think that's all of the tins that I got, but I did get a couple boxes. This is made in Japan and it's sort of a a lacquered cardboard. It has this really nice sheen to it. Can you see that how it shines? It almost it's not decoupage on there, but it almost it has that somewhat of a feel that it's on there that it is like a decoupage, but I think it's some sort of lacquer on this kind of a particle or cardboard box. I don't know. I just thought it was very interesting. I like the color. It's like a pale yellow. It does say that it's made in Japan there on the bottom, but just a nice sweet little tin or box. And then this one I really like too. I love the colors on it. It's just a little index card box. It's cardboard, but I like things like this because you can use them in a display. So you can use this as a riser and you can add, you know, some of your other little, little pretties and stuff on it to add a little bit of height in a display. So it does help that it's a nice floral box. There's a little bit like this was old tape on there, but I still like that look to it. And on the bottom of it, it says, it just says Huron from Earl McKay, 1911, box stationery, gift from Boy at Huron, year 1911. So this is an antique box. Isn't that cool? It almost feels like wallpaper on there, but I just thought it was really pretty. All right, and then this box, this is just something that was just kind of funny. And... You know, I have these weird, twisted, I have a very weird and twisted sense 
of humor. And I saw this and it was in a 75% off booth. And it is a security blanket for adults only. So if you are not an adult, you need to turn your head. Okay. And I'm not going to like go into detail, but this is it. And it is a little satin blanket, security blanket for adults. This is uh, dated 1970. Saucy. Saucy, saucy. All right. Moving on. I got several books because I'm really getting into finding and buying ephemera. Now, these two, well, I'm, I'll go with the books first. I said books and then I'm looking at something else on the table. So we'll go with the books first since that's what I said. I got this little Kellogg's Rhyme and Color book. I paid $3.50 for it. It's a little pamphlet. Let me take it out of the plastic. But look, it's Kellogg's. And that guy, look at his shoes. He's saying Prixie to me. Now, if you don't know, Pixie, I call Pixies Prixies. I've called, my dad has called them that my whole life. You know, I, I, I was raised in an antique store and, you know, we were, I've been around this stuff my whole life and my dad has always called Pixies Prixies and it's just kind of, it's just what I've always called them too. So he's looking a little Pixie-esque. Um, it says, this booklet is illustrated with simple drawings to which children can color and thus fill many pleasant hours with crayons or paint box. The small figures at the center and bottom of all pages can also be colored. So here we have Little Miss Muffet. So it's basically a promotional piece that Kellogg's um, would give out and it would help mothers keep their little kitties busy. It's dated 1932, the Kellogg Company. Printed in the US of A. Now, there are a few pages in here that this child apparently just had a blue crayon because blue is it. So they've just gone through and has colored and have colored a few pages blue. Ooh, this is fun. It's like a Kellogg's maze. And it says, have mother give you a Kellogg package to follow when coloring the Kellogg packages. So you, your mom has to give you a box of of that pep right there so you know what colors to color them that's marketing good job kellogg's jack b nimble a dill or a dollar 10 o'clock scholar what makes you come so soon you used to come at 10 o'clock and now you come at noon hey diddle diddle well that's the only part that has somewhat of a little pixie on it i liked it and those are just regular leaves, right? Yeah. So I got that one for $3.50. And then I got this one. It's another little book. It's a little like promotional book from Dr. Miles Nerveen. And it's for sleeplessness. And sleeplessness is a warning sign of trouble. And there is this man. He's got the man flu. And there is his diligent wife. Look at her hairstyle. Oh, she's diligent. She's going to bring him some medicine. I like to just like read through some of these books. Like this one says, sleeplessness. None but you who have been afflicted with it realize the suffering that it, that it entails. The long hours of comparative stillness when every sound beats on your nerves with a full, full, fourfold intensity, when your mind restlessly reviews the past and is filled with forebodings of the future, when the 60 minutes between strikings of the clock seem like many hours, when the burning eyes and tense muscles you wait for, peace and relaxation that only sleep can bring. So you can, if you take this Dr. Miles remedies, then you know, you'll be able to sleep better. Dr. Miles sleep nerving. And there's anti-pain pills. You need to get 
exercise, oh, liver pills, laxative tablets. Oh, look, and you can mail this coupon for samples. You can enclose two cents for the acquaintance package, five cents for a sample of Nervine, or seven cents for both. So, I don't know, I just like stuff like this. Like, look at the graphics on there. It's just neat. Okay, and I got some children's books here. I got Little Tiger, and this is a Rand McNally. It does have the barcode on here. So it is from the 1970s, but it's in very, very good condition, and I still like the graphics that are on there. So there's Little Tiger and Alexander Kitten. So those were the two Rand McNally books. And then I got this one. This one's a Whitman, and you all know I love Whitman. This one is Barbie and Skipper Go Camping. I had this Barbie dream van. I think that's what it was called. I had, look at, I, who else had that little camper? Oh my gosh, Barbie and Skipper. Now, when you played Barbies, Barbie was, Skipper was never Barbie's sister. Skipper, in my Barbie playing days, Skipper was always her daughter. So they're having an adventure, Barbie and Skipper. This is in ec excellent condition too. Let me see if there's a copyright date in here. Uh, 1977. 1977, and their horse's name was Dancer, I think. Oh my gosh, I love this one. This is also a Whitman Tell a Tales. This one is a fuzzy, fuzzy book, and it's got a poodle on it. This is about Snowball. Now, the bottom part of Snowball is black and is flocked. So, is there is there a mystery why Snowball, oh, it's flocked on the inside too. This one's illustrated by Florence Sarah Winship. Copyright 1952. Once there was a puppy named Snowball who was white as new snow. No whiter than that. He was as white as a sheep flapping in the wind and as white as a bowl of popcorn. As white as, well, you know how white he was. Oh no, but he gets all dirty. Snowball began to turn black one day. First it was just his two hind legs and his stubby tail. That was the day he played slippery slide on a coal pile. So Snowball has an adventure. So you will have to know, we'll have to find out what's going on with Snowball. I love the graphics on that one. And then we have Bambi, and I like how it's shaped like Bambi's head. This one is Walt Disney Productions. Now the cover has a little tear in it right there, but look at the graphics on here. This is 1966. Well, no, I'm sorry. This is the 14th printing, 1975. Originally, this was written in 1966, but this, this particular book is the 14th printing. But look at the graphics in here. Oh, Thumper. Just cute. And I think this was like a dollar. Then I got this little lot of books. And I love it when antique malls will do this, when antique booths will do this. They'll have a stack of books and they tie them with this really nice twine. I think it adds a nice touch. And if you have a lot of books and you're really wanting to get kind of get rid of some of them, a lot of people use books in their decor. So if you make little bundles like this, someone might buy it just to use the whole stack in their decor. I liked this book best of all. This is... It's a bedtime story, and it's Bushy Tail and Hazel Squirrel. Oh, look at them. Oh, I love the graphics on here. It says it's a bedtime story, and this book belonged to George Eugene Welton, and at some point, it was Sheila Welton's, too. They must have, they must have had to share. This was printed in the United States by Western Printing and Lithographing Company in Racing, Washington, or Racing, Wisconsin. No copyright date in it, but it is, oh, it's so cute. The graphics that are in here. So I like that. And then this one is the stories of Peter Rabbit and Chicken Little. The binding on this leaves something to be desired, but this is a cozy corner book but look at how angy 
Now, he's angry and he's angry. He's angry. Peter Rabbit and Chicken Little, but oh my gosh, look at the graphics in here. Oh, these are so good. Sky is falling. The sky is falling. And then this one, Our Little Neighbors at Work and Play. Here, there, then, and now. So this is a, um, a school book. But my word. Look at the graphics on the inside of there. Look at that bus. And on the inside, it is a textbook, like a geography textbook. But I love just to look at the pictures on the inside. Some large grocery stores in the city, people wait on themselves. Oh, it's like you want to just look at every little thing in this picture. So, I don't know. I just really liked it. I really liked it. Oh, here, it does have some color pictures in it. What is the date on this one? This is, the last copyright date is 1947. And then I got, those, those are all the books that I got. Now, I got these two pieces of sheet music because I'm making a gallery wall. And... I had said, you know, the nice thing about the gallery wall is that you can change the sheet music out to change it up for the seasons. And this one I'm going to keep, and it is Santa Claus is Coming to Town. So this I will change out in one of my frames for Christmas time, as well as this one, Christmas Island. Now this is in plastic, so they put these in plastic and the sticker is on the plastic itself. Thank you, thank you. But, oh, I love that. On Christmas Island. All right. And then I got some pictures and I got an album. So I'm going to show you these pictures first. I'm going to, like, show you a little bit of the album. But I'm considering possibly doing a video on the album itself. It's a whole scrapbook full of snapshots. So I might, I might do that. But I got these pictures. I paid $6.50 for all of these pictures. This one has a little bebe in a frame. This Art Deco frame. Look at the little precious. I love the frame though too. And then we have these two little brothers. This is Walter, jo Walter R. Johnson, Hazel Green School in 1934. I love this one. He's got his overalls on. He's like, eh, it's picture day, whatever. But look at the frame. It's just a paper frame, but still it's very, very neat. And then this one, she is not a bit happy. I don't know, maybe this was a christening or communion, possibly communion, but she doesn't look too happy about it, whatever it is. I just love these old pictures, so I like those a lot. And then, like I said, this book, and now I paid up for this scrapbook, snapshot book. I paid $20 for it, but it is a Girl Scout and Brownie. You can see there on the front of it. It's a scrapbook. Well, it says snapshots, but it is filled with photographs. So I think I'm gonna set this, I'm gonna show this to you now, but I'm thinking I'm going to take this and I'm going to do a video on it because we can just kind of take a look at these pictures a little bit more clearer. I haven't even really looked through it much, but I thought that might be a fun video for us to do. That's a little bit different than, you know, just a haul video. So I just wanted to show it to you because it is part of this haul, but I think I'm going to do something with that at a later time. All right, so that's all the ephemera things that I got, but I, I did get this little phone. I think that it's adorable. Oh my gosh, let me see. What was the name on it? This is the Steel Stamping Company, Lauren, Ohio, made in the USA. It's a little toy phone. It's plastic, but look at the color. Oh, the wheel doesn't turn like it used to. But honestly, I got it for the displayability of it. Isn't this just so cute? It's almost like a life-size phone but it's plastic. The bottom of it is metal. Oh my gosh. Isn't that great? Like an old rotary phone. Hello? Yes. Okay. Well, I'll get on with this haul. All right. Thank you. Bye. I love it. You just don't, you don't get the satisfaction of that, that anymore. It seems like, what? No, you don't say. And you can hang up on somebody. We don't get, I mean, we all use our cell phones now. We don't get that 
and that satisfaction of hanging up on somebody. I mean, not that I did that that often, but, you know, if you needed to, you, you could. I did get another little toy, and this is really cute for a display, too. It's just this little Wolverine. It's made by Wolverine Company. They made a lot of metal kitchen sets and, you know, pretend toys from the 50s, and it's just this little metal iron. So cute. So this would be really cute in a uh, laundry room display or a kitchen display, even. I love the red color on it. So I really like that. And I know that somebody out there will, will like that too. All right. One of the things that I'm going to show you is something that has been there for probably a year. And I've gone in there and I've looked at it. It has some damage, but I've just looked at it all the time. I'm like, man. And I just decided to buy it. It's probably been in a couple of my videos that I filmed out there. It is this Redware Pig, but he has diamond eyes. His cold paint is still so good on him. Look at his little piggy booty and his little tail. I loved him. He is Redware and he's a bank. Now on the side of him, his head goes on just a certain way. Oh, not that way. Oh, sorry. Well, hang on, Mr. Pig. Okay, there we go. But you can save up for that Cadillac. For that Cadillac. Now, he does have damage. The only damage is there used to be a connector or chain right here. You can see where it's broken right there. So there would be a connector that connected his head because that's how you'd get the money out. You could just take off his head and dump your money out and you didn't have to smash him. So he doesn't have a stopper on the bottom. You can, you can easily access your money. He's got a little flower on top. So he has that little bit of damage right there, but he's still great for display. And I love his jeweled eyes. I thought you were worthy, Mr. Redware Pig. And he's Redware. You can see there the terracotta clay or the red clay. All right. Um, and then I got this little cutie. This is a little yellow, um, probably just a USA, Amer well, it is a USA American pottery, but it's just a little yellow dog or bear. I think you're a puppy. Look at that tail. I say it's a puppy in really nice condition. Just a cute little puppy with a bow. And then I got this planter. Now I do believe that this is Shawnee and it is a turquoise deer just sitting next to a tree. Long legs on that deer. Oh, I love this so much. No, no flaws on it anywhere. I take that back. There is a little hairline crack on the inside it does not go all the way through though and it is on the inside so you put your little succulent in there and you'll never know all right did i get any other planters yes i got a birdhouse it's got these two cute little birds on here now i didn't notice this until i unwrapped all this stuff to get ready for the haul but it has a chip underneath right there you see that it's a wall pocket or because you can hang it on the wall or you can set it on a flat surface, but it's still cute. You still can't really tell that the crack is there, but that one got by me, but I still think it's pretty. I like the colors of the birds. They got yellow heads and the little turquoise bodies. And I got this little guy. Now I don't normally buy nursery planters they typically don't sell very well for me but i did buy this one this one is made by american bisque and it is baby's book and it's got the cute little lamb but it looks like a book i like the shape of it you know so it's shaped like a book and it's got the little lamb so i don't know i just couldn't resist this one it is made by american bisque no no flaws on it anywhere i thought it was really cute would be great to give to somebody as a baby welcoming gift. And then I got this planter. 
This one it has also been staring at me every time I'd gone out there too. And I just decided that, you know, today was the day or when I was, when I was shopping that day, that was the day that I was going to bring home the pig and I brought home this cat. It's a big cat planter. Look at his green eyes and his sweet little face. Now he has a little nick on the back and that's the reason why I didn't buy him. But I just decided that it was the day. It was the day. He has a little bell on. He's super cute, little white fluffy cat. I knew that somebody, I knew somebody would want him. So I bought him. That day was the day. All right, I think that's all the planters that I bought, but I did get some salt and pepper shakers. I got these Florida Dragonware Luster souvenir shakers they're shaped like a lustery egg and they got the dragon on there and they got a flamingo on there and they're from florida they have their stoppers they're in excellent condition so i grabbed those and then these now there are three of these and i i want to say that this this guy's missing his mate or maybe i, I don't quite know but Yes, that's what I think these two go together and this guy is missing his mate because the yellow chick has three holes and the black chick has four, but it's like the ugly duckling almost. Oh, isn't that cute? I loved them. They don't have their stoppers in them, but you know, they're, they're more of a, a figurine is what I would, you know, what, what I would use them for. But I love this little chubby black bird. And then this was a little bonus guy, but still he's so cute for Easter. So cute. And is that all the shakers that I got? Yes, but I got some puppies. These aren't shakers, these are just figurines. They are sugared. Oh, they're so cute. This little guy is touching his little paw and they're what I call sugared. So they're kind of textured. They almost feel like they've been rolled in sugar. And look at this one with his little tongue and his little feet. Oh, they're super cute. They're, they're, they're made in Japan. Are you made in Japan? Yes, they're made in Japan. They're bisque, but the fact that they have rolled, been like sugared makes them feel a little bit better to me. Cause I don't like the feel of bisque, but I thought they were super cute. Their little faces. Got those. Oh, I forgot to show another pig. I got this pig too. This is a Lefton pig and he is fancy and he is lustery. And he also, or she, cause she's got lashes. She's got diamonds in her eyes and her teeth and her mouth. She's a fancy gal. Now there is a little spot on the back that I think that one of the leaves are missing. There's a little spot right here where I think one of the, I think there's supposed to be another leaf right there. Um, she's got this little ribbon on the back of her tail. So she's got a little design up there and there's like a little bit of extra glue on her ear. So I think she probably had a ribbon, another cloth ribbon that was probably glued up there. She is made by Lefton. She doesn't have her stopper, but oh, she's so cute. I liked her. And then, oh, I got these linens. These are four, no, yes, four napkins. They're all the same. And they've got this design and needlepoint there with the, look like sunflowers. And they're trimmed all the way around in this blue trim. So I thought these were really pretty too for Easter, for spring. Oh, I got these shakers too. Let me tell you what though. These shakers are one of the biggest shakers that I've ever seen in my entire life. They are huge. Look at that. That's, that's as big as my head. Salt and pepper shifts. There they are. They are, they both have their corks. They are made by the original, original. They are an original art mark creation. They are made in Japan. They are in excellent condition. I think that they are fabulous. 
They're so happy to serve you your salt and your pepper. They both have their stoppers. I think they're fun. They're huge. I mean, you, if you need some salt and you need some pepper, they're going to hold it for you for a long time. Unless you use a lot of it in one sitting. All right. And then I also got this cute little fella. He is a jam jar. And look, he's going to hold your jam. He doesn't have his spoon. But I always say, you know, when you're at the thrift store, look in the spoon, you know, the extra spoons. Sometimes you, sometimes you can find little sugar spoons um, that you can use to put in your jam jars your, and your jelly jars. You know, it helps sell things a little bit if they look like they're complete. It may not be the one that it originally came with it. But it's so cute. It has a little divot right there for the spoon to rest. But it's holding your jam. It's a little Dutch boy. He's cutie. And I got some art glass. Now, ooh, this one isn't marked, I don't think. Let me just look at it over real well. It's not marked, but it's a either a little votive holder. I guess it could be a gum holder as well. But this just cute little bluebird. There's no marking on it. But I thought it was really pretty. So I got that one. And then I got this little clear bird. No marking on it as well. But it's a chubby little clear bird. I love its little tail. And then I got the little penguin. This one, were you marked? You're not marked either. They probably originally had a sticker of some sort underneath, but... He's a little penguin, this little belly. And then the last thing that I got that day were some more Bailey's Irish cream. Now, this one is the male cup, the boy cup. He's got the blue bow on. It says, this one doesn't say limited edition. Not sure what year this one is. Sometimes they'll say limited edition underneath. So I have him and I also found a creamer. So she does say limited edition 1996. She is the creamer that says yum on the inside. This one says yum on the inside too. But there would have been a, a, a handleless sugar bowl. So it basically would have looked just like this, but it didn't have a handle on it. So I found the girl, the female creamer, and the boy coffee mug. But they were sold together, so I was happy. I was happy about that, and I I like everything that I got. So let me know what was your favorite thing that I found this day. What did you like the best? I'm always curious to know what out of the things that I find, which one out of out of the haul that I show you is the one that kind of kind of caught your eye the best. That's always interesting for me to find out. Also, don't forget I am going to be doing an upcoming video with our snapshot album. So we can dive into this a little bit closer and see what was going on in this gal's life. Her name was Kathleen. So we're going to find out what was going on with Kathleen through her photographs and her scrapbook. Um, but thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to leave me a comment and let me know what you liked out of this haul. Also, don't forget to like this video and share this video. And I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys. Dun 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 dun